Hi, I'm Mrs. Ruth and I want to tell you a story about special boxes. You have to hear about it. It's such a nice story. And yes, I hope you are all doing good. And I want to read you the story to have a nice idea for the next week. So the story is how Dahlia put a big yellow comforter inside a tiny blue box. Dahlia liked to learn things and make things and she did just that at the community center. One Monday, her teacher, Mrs. Kahn, showed her and the other children a photograph of a little silver house that stood in on four tiny feet. She showed them a photograph of a miniature silver castle. She put a little wooden barrel and a small tin box on the table. These are sedeka boxes, she said. And if you make your own sedeka box and fill it, you will be amazed by what we can do. Look, this is Mrs. Kane and her children and she so showed them nice little boxes. But the kids didn't know what they can do with the boxes. So when Dahlia came home, uh, when Dahlia got home, she went to her room. She found a little box. She made a slot in it, slit. She painted the box afterwards. And most importantly, she wrote the Hebrew letters Sadei delayed cough hay on its front. She took a dollar from her birthday money and dropped it in through the slot and placed the box on her shelf. You see, she came home and she started to make the boxes and she took money off from her pinky bag to put it inside. So then, she has a little brother. Her little brother, Josie, saw the box. What's in it? He asked. A big yellow comforter, Dahlia answered, with a look that said, big sister, now so much more than their little brothers do. But now, can a big yellow comforter fit into such a tiny box? Josie was just learning his Hebrew letters is Sadei Delayed Kof Hay, a magic word. Sadei Delayed Kof Hay spells Sedeka, and it means I'm happy when you're happy. Dahlia said not only was she Josie's big sister, but she was also his very smart teacher. So if you have a big sister or a big brother, you know, they're teaching you a lot. So, on Tuesday, Dahlia earned 50 cents for wedding the garden. She took the quarter from her earnings and dropped it through the slot. Now, there's a big yellow comforter and a butterfly bush in the box, she told Josie. But how can a big yellow comforter and a butterfly bush bush fit inside a little box. Josie asked, he whispered, Sadei the late cough hay, to his own yellow blanket and the letters had not made it shrink. Tell me the truth, he said. What does Sedeka mean? Sedeka means I'm, I'm planting a kiss on your cheek, Dahlia said. Look, she earned the money, she was wedding the garden, dad gave her some money, and what did she do? She put a little bit in the box. And another day, on Wednesday, Dahlia sold lemonade. She slid five nickels through the slot and listened to them fall. One, two, three, four, five. Oof! Now, there's a big yellow comforter, a butterfly bush, bush and a banana cream pie inside the box, she told Josie. And I know just what you're going to ask. 
Sedeka means we are all a big family. It means I want your wishes to come true. It means I care for you. So look, the kids are earning money. Then Josie peered into the box. He looks it and heard the coins rattle. It's just a bank, he said. He had his own bank and he knew not to make up lies about it. It's not a bank, Dahlia said. It's a Sedeka box. Sedeka means fairness. It means doing the right thing. It means thinking of others and giving them what they need. Because of that, there are kisses, wishes, and hugs in the box, along with a big yellow comforter, a butterfly bush, and a banana cream pie. Josie's lips quivered. He wanted to believe her. We lo he loved his big sister. Actually, Dela said, my kisses and wishes and hugs are in this box. And with part of the money for a big yellow comforter, a butterfly bush, and a banana cream pie, we are going to buy those things once our boxes are full. I want you to come with us. Is it nice to have a big sister or a big brother who shows you something and take care of you? Yeah, I think. On Thursday, Dahlia and Josie took a turn carrying the little boxes to the community center. Other children had through their Sedeka boxes too. This is my brother, Josie, Dahlia announced. I'm teaching him all about Sedeka. Look how the Sedeka boxes look. Somebody put a car on, somebody put Hebrew words on, a tree, a chicken. Why not? You can put everything you want on a Sedeka box. So Josie helped the children count the money. At the linen store, he wore the first to spot a soft yellow comforter. At the nursery, he learned that butterfly bushes got their name because butterflies love to drink this nectar. At the bakery, Mrs. Kane allowed him to bar the uh, allowed him a boy who was three years younger than he the other children to place the order. One banana cream pie, please, he said. You see, he could buy the cake. And he's happy with all the friends of Dahlia to do something new. But he don't know what he's really doing, Josie. So back at the community center, Mrs. Kane paced out special markers and the children drew on the fabric. She found sprinkles and the children made hearts on the pie. You see the writing here, and they put sprinkles on the pie. Josie was having a wonderful time. Tomorrow will be even better, Dahlia told him. How will it be better? He asked. Wait and see, Dahlia answered. What's going on? Where are the kids going now? So. The next day, Mrs. Kane led the parade of children to a house where the yard looked sad and the old woman who sat on the porch looked even sadder. Pay attention, Dahlia whispered to Josie. This is the important part. Hello, Mrs. Ross. Look, there's a lonely old lady sitting on the porch. Hello, Mrs. Ross, Mrs. Kane called. We have come to visit. What a nice surprise, Mrs. Ross said. I've been sitting there wishing I had visitors. Look, is this not amazing? They're going to the old lonely lady. The children took the big yellow comforter around Mrs. Ross' thin legs. At my age, I'm usually cold. When we are old, we're feeling cold, more colder, Mrs. Ross said. But wrapped in his beautiful comforter, I feel the warmth of your heart. Is it not nice? The old lady is so happy that the kids are coming. 
The children planted the butterfly bush where Mrs. Ross could see it. Within minutes, a flock of white butterflies flew to its blossoms. I've never seen anything as lovely, Mrs. Rose said. Aside from your smiling faces, we are not done, Dahlia shouted. What's going on next? They brought the comforter, they, they put the bush in, and now she cut the banana cream pie. Josie served Mrs. Ross a great big piece. When I woke up this morning, I never guessed that today would be the so grand. Mrs. Ross said, people care about me and I won't forget that again. Thank you so very much. Look, she is happy. Jersey and Dahlia and all the friends from the school are around Mrs. Ross. It's not a nice uh, day for Mrs. Ross, she is all the time alone. And if you have a neighbor who is alone, uh, I know with COVID it's not easy now to do it, but you can bring something with a mask and put it on the steps perhaps. So, the day delayed coffee, Josie sang, the day delayed coffee, the day delayed coffee, he turned to his sister. I know just what you're going to ask, Dahlia said. She was his big sister, his smart teacher, and she loved him very much. And yes, as soon as we get home, I'll show you how to make your own the Decker box. And it looks like this. And is this not a nice story? And you know, it's not a pinky bank. It's another box where you put some of your pinky bags for good uh, deeds. And I want to show you this was the book. And I hope you enjoyed the story. And if you found, I found this box at home. Everybody has coffee at home. Or this is for the beauty so you can color them ask to your parents to put a slit in and every time if you find a coin that you don't need but perhaps somebody else needed put it in and make somebody happy i wish you all a good day and a good week and yeah hope to see you soon bye bye